I think a lot of it is meant to be amusing. Mm. It's okay to laugh. If I've seen The Duelist, it's the whole reason for me doing it. When the Emperor was wearing out and the French wanted to get rid of the Emperor, the film ends on Keitel being locked into the dilemma that the story is about, uh, where he's standing on the cliff overlooking France and contemplating his future. That image is of Napoleon Bonaparte. Mm. So I never seen Napoleon during the film except that image. And I re-ran the film recently, about actually three years ago, I thought, I wonder, can we go there? Because we seem to be inundated with superhero films. And therefore, the challenge is, dare I make a big period piece mm. because people don't like history lessons because they don't seem to like to learn anything. What's happening? What is happening? I wish I knew. Yeah. So I thought, let's do it, but I can't make it a history lesson. Mm. And therefore I must look at the central character of who this man was and why this, it's a strong word, but obsession with Josephine. Mm. That becomes the centerpiece of the story. Of course I've got battles, of course I've got bad behavior, and of course I've got, I hope, comical behavior. Yeah. A lot of it is meant to be funny. Mm. If you don't laugh, you have no sense of humor whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. There's many colors to the film, mm. which I think it hopefully are a good picture of who he might be. She has what he hasn't got. And I think it, he gradually realized she has social graces. Mm. The point, one of his weaknesses was he had no social grace. You know, he's a bit of a tough guy from, mm. he's not an aristocrat. He's poor between working and middle class, that level somewhere, there was no money. Yep. He's not a rough man, but he's a bit, he's unsophisticated. Mm -hmm. When he meets this woman who has impressive physical presence, he is impressed. The next thing is, she's not really interested in him. Mm -hmm. And it's so if you watch the evolution. This is not a typical, um, easily understood relationship. As you said, it's toxic, it's codependent, it's confusing, there's mm -hmm. infantilization going on. Suddenly he feels five years old, suddenly she's five years old, acting like a child, you know, having been this formidable woman in the coronation, pretending that she's fine even though she's scared. I mean, all of the things mm -hmm. really. Um, and underneath, incredible pain, we mm -hmm. found. But having to present such a different version of that publicly. She was suddenly at the, the, the height of this revolutionary female liberation of sexuality and so she was known for for that and mm. she had a lot of sexual affairs, often for money, and then met Napoleon and was very dominant in that way. And so there were various different versions. There was a sex scene with Barras, who she had an affair with that I, I hasn't made the movie because it was four mm. and a half hours. But And you saw a different dynamic there, but with yeah. Napoleon, I remember them having long conversations about wanting to be very clear that he's this military commander and he's so in command when he's on the battlefield mm. and he's out trying to conquer land and writing these romantic, adolescent, obsessive letters and then coming home and not really knowing what to do with this woman. Yeah. Um, and so I think that's what they really wanted to portray. And I never wanted Josephine to feel like she was surrendering to that mm. somehow. I didn't feel it when we were acting it. I felt um, her pain with that in many ways. Joaquim, I just admire tremendously. Yeah. I think he can do anything. And on top of that, he looks like Napoleon. He does. It's quite uncanny. Like, you wouldn't think it when he's not in the whole gear. That's my job. That's what I do. Well I got, done. Boom. You did it. You've got the eye. You've got the eye. I just don't think there's anything Joaquin can't play. I mean, look at the master. He's so... Mm. I mean, he's just had astonishing performance after astonishing performance. Come on, come on. He plays the cutest. You know, how could he go from that to Napoleon? It's And Bo is afraid recently. You know, like, look at the canon of his work even mm. in the last couple of years. Very excited for Joker 2. So many other interesting little characters in other movies he's done. To suddenly be the Joker, which is a kind of theatrical phenomena. Mm. It's so marvelously theatrical and entertaining. The only thing I don't love, it seems to condone violence. Mm -hmm. So I don't love that. Mm -hmm. I've said that to him, he didn't like it. Mm 